Hello, thanks for joining us again on the Stephen Mendes channel. We are continuing with our study of FM synthesis with specific reference to the DX27 Yamaha synthesizer. Last time we spoke about the algorithms and how the operators interacted. What exactly is in an operator? Well, it's just a sine wave oscillator a voltage controlled amplifier uh, driven by an envelope generator, nothing more. What sort of controls do you have for an operator? Well, you have an output level adjustment for each of the operators. You have a ratio tuning thing that sets the ratio relative to the keyboard pitch. And you have a detuning thing that just acts like a fine tune. And then, of course, your envelope generator, which we discussed already, has attack rate, decay rate, delay 1 level, delay 2 rate, and release rate. And we spoke in depth about those in the preceding video. Now, this uh, shows the relationship here between the analog ideas and the FM synthesis. Basically, your operator can either be a carrier or a modulator. You will remember we said that the carrier is the one at the bottom of the stack and the modulators are higher up in the algorithm. If you are dealing with a carrier, adjusting the ratio tuning will set the resonance or equivalent of resonance in an analog filter and adjusting the output level will set the volume. If you're dealing with a modulator, adjusting the ratio will change the wave shape and adjusting the output level will change the cutoff frequency. So there that sort of gives you a rough idea of how the digital equivalent of the filters, the analog filters, because normally you have cut off and resonance and you pick a wave shape, harmonic which wave shape. So you've got everything you need there and basically everything is set up by just picking operator ratios and uh, levels. So it's not as difficult as you might imagine. And now we're going to look at some waveforms that you get from various combinations of ratio tuning and levels. As you can see the output of an operator is a nice sine wave. This is what the feedback does to it. Here we have a maximum feedback parameter of 7 and as you can see it's turning more into a sawtooth wave. It has been twisted completely so that we've got it more like a sawtooth wave now with a feedback level of 7. This is with the carrier and the modulator at the same frequency, ratio 1 for the carrier and modulator and uh, the same amplitude output. This is with the operator 1 set to 2, ratio 2, and the operator 2 set to 1 on algorithm 1 with identical level on both operators. This is with operator 2 set to 2 and operator 1 set to 1. In other words, the modulator has ratio 2 and the carrier has ratio 1. This is with the modulator on ratio 4 and the carrier on ratio 1. This is with the carrier on uh, ratio 4 and the modulator on ratio 1. Okay, for this one, the ratio is 1 for the carrier, 2 for the modulator, and the output level is 75 for the carrier and 67 for the modulator. Thank you for watching us on 21st Century Music and stay tuned to the Stephen Mendes channel for more interesting and exciting videos to come.